Welcome. I'm joined today by Dr. Jeffrey Anderson from the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute. Um, we're excited to talk about a new study looking at statin use in a real-world tertiary hospital setting as opposed to a uh, controlled clinical trial. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, well, we know that statins are very important for primary and secondary prevention, but what happens in clinical trials may be quite different than what happens in the real world. Mm -hmm clinical trials, you select patients out who are willing to participate, they get close follow-up, and so the outcomes in the real-world situation may not be as good, and there may be opportunities for improving what we call a treatment gap. And that's what we looked at in Intermountain Medical Center in, in this study. Why is it important to know that? Well, it's important because uh, we want to have the maximum benefit from statins in our patients, and we want to know where we can improve. Okay, let's talk a little bit about some of the, okay. uh, the methodology and the results from the study. Okay, and so what we did is we searched our database uh, for all of those Intermountain Health Cares from 1999 to 2013 who had had a cardiovascular event, mm -hmm. in other words, a heart attack or stroke, peripheral vascular disease, a revascularization. Uh, and uh, then we looked to see how many were discharged in that statin and also what the intensity of the statin was and then what the impact of that was on three-year outcomes. And it was a fairly large study, right? It was. We found 62,000 in that category wow. divided among the three groups, the largest coronary disease group and then cerebrovascular and finally mm -hmm. peripheral ar artery disease groups. Uh, and what we found was that about 70% were discharged on a statin. So there's a 30% gap to work on. Pretty good, but not ideal. Uh, what we also found was that only about 13% were on the high intensity statin, which is what is optimal for most of these patients. And then we looked at outcomes, what the impact was, and that's what this uh, figure shows. Okay. Uh, and if you were not on a statin, there was a 34% event rate over uh, that three year follow up period. And that was reduced to 26% if you were on a statin, a very uh, nice uh, uh, effect, uh, treatment effect. We also looked to see whether it mattered if you were on low, moderate intensity, high intensity statin, as you can see, the event rate went down as you got on higher intensity statin. And so that I think has some very important lessons for us. Okay, let's so talk we about just look some at the of the conclusions? conclusions and kind of the big picture. So what we concluded is that in this real-world experience, uh, which was intermountain-wide, there were significant reductions in MACE for discharging a patient on statin, and especially if they're on a high-intensity statin. But it varied by group, too. Uh, it was highest in the coronary disease group, where we've had a discharge medication program, and lower in the other two groups, where we have a bigger gap to fill. Uh, and overall, the gap was still 30% for receipt of a statin, and 87% to get patients on a high intensity statin, which we think is ideal. And so I think that, that those are important lessons, important targets for us to work on in optimizing secondary prevention. Why do you think that gap exists? And that's fairly significant, 30%. Well, I think it's both a gap in terms of physicians and as well as patients. So we need to educate physicians about the importance of not only statin, but high intensity statin and patients as well to know they'll have additional benefit uh, if they are on a statin uh, and the appropriate intensity uh, and adherence to the statin treatment. The takeaway message that you would, uh, you would get out there? Great uh, takeaway message is statins work. Let's just get more people on it in the right dose. That's great. Great study. Thank you so much for being with us. You can join us at the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute booth at the American Heart Association Scientific Session or for more information on this abstract and our other abstracts, please go to our website. Thank you very much and have a great day.